This package came from the Lubuskie Voivoda ship, therefore from Western Poland. This is another walking mechanical horse, but this one is a little different. This is my first walking not Mattel and not Barbie horse. This time it's a Steffi Love doll horse from Simba Company. A great surprise because I had no idea that it exists. This video is going to be a bit long, but it's a unique horse. Here it is. At this stage I did not know what gender it would be. The tail, as seen, is in a residual disintegrating state. The equipment includes a saddle and a bridle. The mane is very poor. The head is movable. And that's it at first glance. The announcement stated that the horse had walked, but most likely it's not walking anymore. It had not been checked. To find out first I will take off the saddle. This is my first time dealing with Steffi's horse. The saddle is quite flat, flexible, nicely decorated on the top, very dirty on the bottom. I'll take off the bridle. Well, it cannot be unfastened and I don't want to destroy it. Steffi's horses have strange bridles. Usually the reins are fastened over the noseband. Here it looks as they were fastened below and you can see that the places where the reins were attached are torn off. So actually we have a halter now, not a bridle. On the battery flap there is only the inscription Simba made in China and that we need four AA batteries to revive the horse. I have new batteries here. To insult them I have to unscrew the screw that secures the flap. Oh, how nice! There is a ribbon to pull the battery out. Inside there is a mass of dirt in the form of rusty dust. The contacts show that battery is spilled in the past. For now I won't worry about dirt. I just want to see if it's actually dead. Putting the batteries in isn't easy. When I turn it on, it works but the head does not move. The horse has two sides. One is nice, the other is ugly. Here we see holes with screws. There are no plugs here, so this side isn't very aesthetic. On the nice side, however, we see a protruding round button on the ramp. At first I thought that this button triggered some additional functions of the horse, such as sounds. But it turns out that this is a try me display function. When the horse was standing in a box on the store shelf, you could check how it works. So when I press it and hold it, the horse just starts to walk. It stops when the button is released, so nothing special. I think that the neck should move when horse is walking. It can be moved by hand, but it's not easy, it locks. As if something was wrong with it. But I don't know if it should move while walking or not. Maybe it's just an added bonus. It's not very stable. I'll get rid of the batteries. And I start with that unfortunate neck. One screw, second and third. I just don't know why the third one is smaller. I open the neck. Okay, the neck doesn't move when walking. It can be adjusted manually. Let's take the head off too. Now I open the neck. Let's take out the mane. This mane is miserable. I will not disassemble the legs. I just tighten the loosened screws. I haven't taken off the high stepper's legs yet, so I don't know what awaits me. No screw here. There is a pin on which the leg is held, but instead of a screw it is secured with a zagger ring. It's this horseshoe shaped 
little thing. After removing the leg, I can see that this type is more complicated than the Barbie sprint, that horse which I previously disassembled. My wavy. Now it's time for the body. And the horse is opened. Here is this strap attached that helps to easy remove batteries. This tail doesn't look original. I think someone has tried to fix it. Actually, it's a memory of the tail. Eh, I can see there's gonna be more work here. I have to make new tail and mane. This is what the entrails of a horse look like. And here is the test button. Finally, it's time to wash. This time I only wash the horse's top covers, head, saddle and bridle. Everything goes to the bowl with water and washing liquid. I am removing coarse dirt with a brush. I know you may not see it very well, but this horse has a glitter in the plastic. Overall it looks a bit like Bratz horses. It has big eyes, a similar color and this glitter. The washed parts of the horse are drying and I am cleaning that battery case. While washing I got the idea that a horse doesn't have to have black hair. And I am glad I came up with it, because I save black hair for other horses. One part of the hip is slightly broken. To fix it I have to remove this leg and unscrew it. Removing the rear legs is easier than the front legs. Just pull out the axle or the pin on which the legs are attached. There aren't any zeggers here. Now it's time to remove all the screws from the leg. Something like that jumped out of it. I'll take care of it during the assembly. Here we have a glitch. The crack made this part bend easily. I will fix it with a super glue. Time to put it back together. First the white part with the spring goes inside. Now the screws. The protruding white part must hit the guide. And this metal pin has to go through both hip joints and lock the legs in a place. On the one end it is limited by a wider tip, so I push it all the way in helping myself with a screwdriver. In the videos about Wavy and Lucy I showed how you can make a mane without opening the horse. This time we have an open horse. I have an old mane here, the base of which I put on a piece of a clear plastic. I trace the shape of the old base and cut it out. The plastic comes from some kind of packaging. I put a new base on the pins in the neck and mark places where the holes should be. First the ones on the sides. Using an office punch I cut holes in the marked places. I fit the base for the pins again, check if I made the holes correctly and mark the place for the third hole. This time I'm squeezing this place out with a screwdriver. I came up with a brilliant idea. I removed the scrap container, 
Now I can see from the bottom of the punch exactly where my mark for the hole is. Tick and the hole is ready. Here is new hair for my new filly. Yes, it will be a filly. I chose hair which I used to restore Lossy. So here we have strawberry brown henlon. The hair is washed, a bit trimmed because it got tangled. Additionally, I treated it with a hair crimper to smooth them. I almost burned my hands by the way. But there are fewer waves and the difference can be filled to the touch. I'll get rid of the tie that I used as a handle. Now I will slide off the tie holding both halves. I move the center tie to the side. I am cutting her in half. I put the tied part aside. I fold the loose part in half. I divide it in the proportion of one third and two thirds. I put the thinner strand aside. I tie the thicker one in the middle. I tighten the tie tightly. It will be a new tail. I trim the ends so that it don't get tangled. I'm starting to put the horse back together. I trim the protruding end of the tail tie. I put on a security tie. I squeeze it a little so that I can separate both sides of the band at the top. I put it on the target bar or a pin. I tighten the security tie and pull it towards the bar. I tighten the tie to the end so that the tail is finally fixed. I cut off the end of the tie. Time to fit the inside of the horse into its place. When putting on the other part of the torso, I first fix the switch in its slots. This is the moment when I can tell you something about this horse. But there is a little problem. I know almost nothing about him. I searched the internet patiently for a few days and nothing. I found it only on a German toy horse collection site, but I didn't learn much only that it's Steffi Love's horse and it's called Running Horse. Finally, with attention, the Russian browser Yandex, I was able to find a picture of a horse in the box and two promotional photos. This Russian browser is a pure coincidence because Google, Bing and others had no idea about this model at all. From this photo of the horse in the box, it can be concluded that it was rather poorly equipped. Just a saddle, a bridle with rinds, a brush, a comb, two buckets, apples and some hay. Oh, I think I forgot to mention, it has a magnet in its mouth, hence the carrying buckets. However, I can't see any hair ornaments. Strange, isn't it? And here the hard part begins. The wire protruding from the leg, which bends it, must be placed in a plastic sleeve in the body and the wire that protrudes from the body must be in the upper slot of the leg in such a way that it goes between the two wires of the spring inside the leg. And of course, the main pin must go into the center hole of the leg. Now, even worse part of this puzzle. This unfortunate miniature Zega must be in its place. I don't know which attempt it was, it took an hour or two. I have no experience, no tools to handle such small elements. the second leg.
it wasn't easy. The base is ready. Now it's time for the hair. From the strand I put aside from the tail section, I begin to separate the strands, as with the baseless mane. In this case, it would be better if the strands were a bit finer. I tie it with a thicker thread. I secure it with a glue. The strand is ready. I do the rest in the same way, also from the other half of the prepared hair. All hair is transformed into strands. Time to install them in the base. Using a large pin, I make holes in which I will install the prepared strands of hair. I thread the strand thread through the hole in the base with my rooting needle and pull the thread out with a pin. I tie the strand to the base. I tied the strings of the previous and the next strand together. Then I cut the threads of the first one. And so on. After a few more hours, the mane is ready. I secured the bindings on both sides with a hot glue. An old mane for comparison. And I start putting the neck together. The neck is holding on this piece of plastic, so I have to put it back somehow like that. The last three screws. The head is held on a pin that is going through the holes at the top of the neck. Here we are, Stephanie is ready. All that is left to do is to style the mane and tail, trim the fringe and dress it again. Time for photos. This is what she looked like before styling her hair. Here the hair is styled, but not yet trimmed. And after trimming, the new mane came out only a little bit longer than her previous one. I made a new bridle, rinds and a saddle pad matching the blue color to her big eyes. It's the first time I went with a horse for a session outside the fence. I used the colors of autumn in the forest. Stefa fits this scenography perfectly. There was
was still something missing in the hair, so I made some bows for her. Stefa with my beloved Summer. Let's recall what she looked like before. I really did not think it would be such a huge amount of work. Finally, I must add that there is no sample of her walking skills as her front legs are still folding up and she is landing on her face. To those who have reached this point, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this reincarnation. I am also curious if anyone has heard, seen or maybe had this horse. Comments are at your disposal. Remember about my blog, it's for those who like to read. I am also on Instagram, for those who prefer photos. More interesting states will appear soon.